Run it back. I control all my vices. In my ear, with my eyes is. In my eye, with my mind is. Well, we have 1 a.m. the 31st of October right now. I'm currently working on um, the presentation for the hotel that I'm gonna pitch tomorrow. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Already talked about it in the videos before this one. You can see it. They need social media marketing for an event they have every Saturday, and basically they set up the event new because first they had a host that did all the marketing and brought the people in and all that stuff, and now they are doing it by themselves. So they want me to do the marketing for social media, and yes, I'm working on that i really really need this client and i'm gonna put as much effort in as possible to get this client i'm constantly removing stuff from the presentation think about what could they need what do they know, don't need what is not necessary in there i know very well already what they need because we have a very good relationship already with the two managers and yeah tomorrow morning i think it's gonna be very chilled i'm also gonna do it for free so if i'm not closing this client with this with this offer i don't know then i'm too stupid should be possible and i'm i'm like looking forward to get this kind of because they want to work with me I also did some photo shoots already and some video shoots I'm gonna create a video a very good video right now I sit until the morning but that's how it is it's basically it I'm gonna work on that for now and yeah good morning it's still the 31st of October it's 8 in the morning now I'm gonna go to breakfast damn I'm tired Breakfast, back to work, meeting, 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 work, let's go. So I just had a meeting and it went, it didn't went wrong, it went terrible wrong. <laughs> Telling you like, I like presented what I have and what I can do for them. And then the GM, which is the general manager of the hotel, ended up giving me fatherly advice on what I should do different and what I should take care of in Dubai and all that stuff. And it was like, it was tough. But I guess that's how you learn, huh? But anyway, let's get back to work. I'm just learning and I have my next meeting now for the website for my company because I don't really have a good website and I need one. That's on the plan for now. Then later I have another meeting with a client of, from Austria. After that, I'm gonna go back to work. The GM also said he won a new proposal for me that I should come up with something different, like maybe something where no money is involved. Like I do the service for him and he lets me live in the hotel for free or something like that. I will work on that as well, but it went terribly wrong. I was nervous, I was sweating, I was stuttering, I was like this, it was not fun. But just learning, just improving. You have to jump into the code, otherwise you don't learn. This light dog, ciao. Okay, so we might have something that sounds very, very big. I'm not sure yet, but basically the general manager that just gave me advice right now on my sales pitch came back to me and gave me a number of a very, very powerful lady at the biggest number one um, instructor in whole Dubai. You can see it all over the place. If you've been to Dubai, you know the low. And he said she is directly under the highest person, highest, highest person, and she can introduce me to to the highest person which could be a breakthrough for me. So I just came up with an idea because I was texting Christoph, my mentor and best friend, how can I prepare for a meeting with such a high with such a high leverage person? Because I'm way overwhelmed with that. I'm like 21 year old boy trying to make money and I get an opportunity to speak a head of marketing of such a big company. I'm not gonna say the name because I just wanna protect myself right now. And yeah, so and then he said, because I asked him what questions would you ask in a meeting? And he said, he would f focus only on one thing. This is how can I help you? Like asking the person in, in front of, how can I give you value? How can I help you? And then I thought about a video, a clip of Alex Armosia, where he basically said, when you wanna network with a person that's higher than you, you don't wanna ask her or him, what can I do for you? Because what you're really saying is think about something, which then I ask them to work because they have to think about something that I can help them with. He said, you do the hard work, finding out what I could provide them, and then you give it to them. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna do a tremendous amount of research on this person, trying to find out on which project she's, she worked in the 
in the past then i'll look up some things that she's working on right now to find out um, what she's doing exactly and how i can help her with my expertise in social media and content and i'm going to give it to her at our first meeting and i think that's a good good idea good approach and also it makes me more calm because i know i already did something and then i'm not too nervous to go into the meeting and she's going to ask me questions i don't have an answer to or something and yeah that's basically what i'm gonna do and i'm also gonna prepare the proposal for the hotel so i'm gonna write down everything i can do for them what i thought about is doing the content creation for the hotel for the restaurants in the hotel which are three or four and do that like three to five videos a week and in exchange i will get to live free in the hotel and to have food on the house in the hotel that's what i try to get out of it so yeah back to work so since the lady didn't pick up her phone i'm gonna do a meditation in the meanwhile because i'm going nuts right now this lady just destroyed me for 35 minutes telling me that I'm pretty much in the most saturated market that you could be in right now in Dubai with not even having a website just want to mention it I don't even have a website she gave me very good advice I'm very thankful for that but basically she told me that I'm as I said in the most saturated market that you can be in right now in Dubai with no actual offer at all like I can do social media congrats what's the benefit of you doing social media for me basically that's what she said but she gave me some very good advice right before I got to the gym some guy came into the elevator and saw me with the camera and asked me if I'm a content creator and I say yeah I'm like doing social media didn't really try to tell him anything because I wasn't in the mood and then he says brother let's actually connect I'm in real estate and I might need something yeah that's how you go from good to bad to good to really bad to not too bad in one day so that's business but I think you gotta just stay committed to the game try to stay neutral to those to those losses and wins but it's not easy anyways I'm, I'm struggling with it too so right after the call, I was like so down. And I was sitting here for like 10 minutes telling myself, I will not quit until I win. I will not quit until I win. I actually said it out loud. Then I had to go for a run because I needed it. Now I'm feeling better. So if you feel like everything is falling apart and nothing is working out, just get out there, go for a run or go to the gym, work out. I promise you, you'll feel better after it. With that being said, I think I'm gonna end this video here because it's gonna be too long. I'm gonna film the next days as well. So thank you for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button for more. And yeah, see you in the next one.